Uh, okay, so now that we have created uh, 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 input field, uh, select options, a checkbox, and a radio button, there are just few more things that are remaining that you pro that you generally see on a selection screen of any ABAP uh, uh, window, and uh, that are that is uh, I think uh, one is a list box, and uh, the most important thing is a button on which you you, you do any action. So let's see how we can create a button and uh, a list box. So uh, for creating a button, the most important thing is that you have to define uh, from where the button is going to start. So ultimately, when you create a button, you all you do is you define the place, the dimensions on which you uh, create, on which you want your button to be there. So. Uh, to define a button the keyword is used um, as selection screen double colon begin of line now begin of line will tell the system that uh, you know I have my checkbox I have my radio button and the line right after the radio button is going to have my push button is going to have my uh, you know button so you would say uh, selection screen begin of line and then the keyword would be push button and now you would define the place the dimensions on which the push button needs to be there so you would say uh, this 2 and bracket uh, and 10 defines that um, uh, you know from the first place of the screen in this line you know this is a new line that I'm creating so you, I'm saying begin of line and then after two character uh, I want a push button which is off length 10 character so when I say push button I say push button and then my uh, my dimension I want from the second place on the line to the tenth place to the twelfth actually so 10 plus 2 is 12 so I want my button to be displayed from the second spot on the line to the 10th so it would uh, be like uh, from the start it, it's 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 still till 12th point so and you would you would understand it more once you see how button is coming so I have said that uh, push button 2 and then uh, from the second spot I want a 10 character long push button now then the the next uh, uh, you know keyword is the text that is going to be displayed on the push button so I would say text 003 uh, you know text is the keyword again uh, with hyphen uh, and the number uh, you know this this whole big makes a keyword and the hyphen the number is nothing but uh, is the the text symbol which you create by double clicking and mo moving into the forward navigation and then the the other keyword is uh, the user command so once you uh, now what I'm telling to the system is that okay I have a push button that is from the second spot on the line to the tenth spot uh, this uh, is the length the text is going to be text uh, 003 and once you click on it there would be a user command that would be CL1 now this user command is going to be my keyword to work on this action now once I code um, I would code if the action is CL1 do this you know what I mean I mean I'm telling the system that this is the action I mean once you press a keyword the action would be CL1 and then if CL1 is the action do something now I want two push buttons to be displayed so I would say push button now the second push button would be in the same line because it is again the same beginner begin of line um, now since I have covered uh, 12 positions already since uh, my first push button was at the second and uh, the uh, 10 uh, next characters so the new uh, push button is going to be after 12th position on the same line so at this time I'm going to say 12th and then I would make a bracket to tell the system that from 12th position the next 10 character position again is going to be taken by my second push button 
and then the rest of the command is same text 004 and then the command is CL2 that means if you have pressed the second push button the command would be considered as CL2 and then you would say end of line and then just activate it uh, as you are doing with the rest of the things so once you activate it you have created a push button now I want some text also to be displayed so I would just double click and go on to a text symbol uh, page and I would say uh, button one or whatever you want on your first uh, button uh, to be named I want uh, just button one and text 004 was for button two so I would say button two this time and then save it and don't forget to activate it because it is a different uh, entity altogether so I've activated it and now I have uh, I'm coming back to the program and then activate the main program as well after activation you can run it and you would see your two buttons so now as you can see on your screen that button one is after two spaces on the selection screen and button two is right after the twelfth position I have not given any gap on the on the in the program I had two and ten and then after immediately after twelfth the second button was starting and so it is like button one and button two so you can click on them you can do anything so as you can see over here that what I mentioned was 2 and 10 and then 12 and 10 so they are both together so this this kind of summarizes how you create a push button using your ABAP codes there are a few more op options of creation of buttons and actions which generally people use and those are by module pool programming so we'll learn module pool programming uh, in the other series but here we are just uh, learning how to create uh, you know buttons using ABAP so the next thing uh, you probably want to learn is a, a Dropbox. So let's just see how, how can you create a Dropbox. And uh, that would probably summarize everything that you see generally on the selection screen. So to create a Dropbox, uh, you know, Dropbox is called as a list box uh, in, in ABAP. So you can just write list box. And since it is an input field, it would again have a keyword called parameters. And uh, parameter, you, you can say p underscore list and then again as is the keyword and then as list box is what you write to get a list box it is just damn simple it is just normal English so you would say parameter p underscore list is what my name is and then I would say again a keyword as list box but you have to remember one thing when you are creating a list box uh, when you say as list box there is one very important thing that you always have to mention and that is the visible length because this this is this is something uh, you know you might have a drop drop down for a sentence for like 50 character word but still you want only 10 characters out of it to be visible as in terms of list box once you click down then you have a whole list which has a whole length of uh, word but you want that you know you get that drop down to be of just 10 character so you have to specify if you don't specify you will get an error message so for list box you need to tell the system that the visible length is this much so I'm saying 10 as my visible length and then all you need to do is just activate it and run it so this will uh, give you a list box option which has a drop down now how to fill the values into it it would be uh, from your programming so we will learn uh, filling up the list box uh, in our uh, you know actions series the events uh, series uh, but for that you need to get into the program uh, which is our next chapter just activate it and run it and you would see uh, you know a p underscore list as a list box